You're watching to David Bay at 6. I'm Courtney Robinson. And I'm Josh Sidorowitz. Carolina and Dave are off. All new at 6, Ted Investigates is exposing the rising problem of hidden cameras recording unsuspecting people during their most private moments. Uh, you were looking at images here. These are of hidden cameras that we've come across the Tampa Bay area here that our team has been uncovering all year long. And tonight, 10 Investigates' Jenna Bourne has learned the Pinellas County Sheriff's Office demoted a sergeant after investigators say he mishandled evidence in a hidden camera case. A woman reported she found a hidden camera in her bedroom's AC vent. We got a hold of an internal memo that says a Pinellas County sergeant who came out there to investigate dropped the ball. A Pinellas County Sheriff's Office memo says Sergeant Eugene Panicha took one photo of the camera in the AC unit before potentially contaminating the evidence by touching it without gloves. The memo says he put the evidence on the woman's bed and then left without anyone there to keep an eye on it. The sheriff's office claims the woman's roommate, who was suspected of putting the camera in her vent, was able to come in unnoticed and take the camera. The report also says Sergeant Panicha's body camera was in sleep mode through most of his shift. The sheriff's office demoted him from sergeant to deputy. Our interview requests with the sheriff and with now deputy Panicha were declined. There were 18 videos of me and then like screenshots and snapshots. Emily Ashman knows what it's like to have her privacy invaded. Do you feel comfortable telling me what was in the videos? Yeah, so I mean, I was completely nude. Ashman was recorded by her teacher, Mark Ackett, at Bloomingdale Senior High, a Hillsborough County public school in Valrico. We got these images from the state attorney's office showing Ackett's cameras hidden in cardboard boxes with holes cut out. 125 students and one staff member were recorded. Mark Ackett was sentenced to 15 years in prison. What's your message to people who think this couldn't happen to them? It's hard because beforehand, that was never a thought that ever went through my head in a dressing room, at a store, in a mall. Never once did I think of something like that. I don't, I just feel like people don't really think like that unless it has happened to them because now it's something I think about everywhere I go. It can happen um, and it'll happen in a circumstance where you least expect it. In 2017, vacationers found hidden cameras disguised as smoke detectors in a Longboat Key condo they rented on Airbnb. We've also seen a bunch of hidden cameras in bathrooms, in a Clearwater gym, a Pinellas Park office building. On Valentine's Day in 2021, a customer at a Lakeland Circle K found an iPhone in an envelope hidden under the sink while she was in the restroom. So how do you spot a hidden camera? We put six in this kitchen and put cyber intelligence specialist Matt Aubin to work. So Matt, we've got six cameras hidden in this kitchen. And what I'd like you to do for us is just kind of walk us through how you would go about looking for those hidden cameras. Okay. So I'm just going to step yeah. out of the way and let you do your thing. All right. So. I've never been in this kitchen before and I don't have any of my equipment with me. So I've got $45,000 worth of detection equipment in the car. But for the purpose of this, we're really just trying to see what do you do if you don't have that equipment and you're really just going on the, the training or instincts alone. So as I'm walking in, I see that hook over there, which these are actually really commonly used um, to have cameras in them. You see that tiny little discrepancy right there. That's usually a really quick giveaway to be able to find um, that there's a camera or something off base with that. So I would definitely say that that's one. Another thing that I often look for are unused electronics. This standard AC-DC adapter um, has a camera lens right here. It really also has no business being here without a cord or without something that's connected to it. I've also noticed we've got two basically clock radios in here. Uh, this one appears to have a camera right here in the middle of it. This makes five clocks in this kitchen. You already have three of them built in. Unless you're just super obsessed with time for some reason, you don't need that many. So it causes suspicion to go looking for those. This clock, I don't necessarily see a lens. Again, I'm not using any equipment or anything else, but the adapter that it's plugged into does have a camera in it. Um, right in the middle, if you just look and see above that. This smoke detector, it's not in a normal place for a detector. It is in a kitchen, um, but it does appear to have um, a camera lens within it. When you open it up, um, it doesn't have the typical components of a smoke detector within it. It's actually got um, spots for uh, SD cards and other memory. Well, you typically aren't gonna need um, a USB-C charger or an SD card 
in a normal smoke detector. Most people have changed smoke detector batteries before, so you know what you're looking at if you look inside one as to whether or not something looks a little bit off. Any fire um, smoke detector that I've ever seen has a test button on it. This one doesn't, and it's not a name brand. I found five out of six so far, and honestly, I'm struggling to find the last one without being able to use any of my equipment as a crutch. You were very warm <laughs> because you, you spotted yeah. this clock, but you yeah. said that you didn't find a lens on it, but this actually is. It does have one on mm -hmm. it? Ah, there is one right there. Aubin recommends unplugging and removing anything you're not sure about. Our hidden camera episode was our most viewed episode this year of our investigative YouTube series, What's Brewing. Take out your phone or tablet because this code is gonna make it really easy for you to find. Open your camera app and point it at this QR code. No need to take a picture. A link will pop right up to take you directly to our YouTube channel, The Deeper Dive, which is home to what's brewing.